Awesome. Excellent. Well, Kevin, thank you for the opportunity to present. As Kevin uh, said, I'm Vlad Karpel, the founder of TradeSpoon, and today we're going to talk about selling options premium into market strength. Very relevant tar tar topic as market making its headways to the top. Before I start, this is me, Vlad Karpel. I was executive vice president, head of technology at Options Express from its inception through 2007. Also, I've served as a CTO of Media Ocean as a consultant investor in early stage financial technology companies. My passion is trading. I've been trading, managing my own money and friends and family money for the past 15 years. I've also been a teacher and a trader for TradeSpoon subscribers. Uh, I have a master's degree in computer science and build different quant models to help me spot opportunities in the market. Quick disclosures, options do involve risk and not suitable for all the investors. Prior to buying or selling an option, the person must receive a copy of characteristics and the risk of standardized options. The information in this presentation is provided solely for general education and information purposes only. Any strategies discussed, including examples using actual securities and price data, strictly for illustrative and educational purposes only. All right, uh, before I begin my presentation, when I started at Option Express, we were encouraged to trade in order to build online brokerage firm. And I quickly realized that I can be correct on the direction of the market and I can be correct on the timing of the market, but very often due to short-term volatility like we had this year and we had in the past couple of weeks, you can get stopped out of your positions because of the short-term volatility where market can go up 1% or down 1% all in a matter of hours. So instead of uh, speculating and chasing the market, I quickly realized that you do need to have a trading plan. And I want to go over the trading plan today to show how you can grow your portfolio using Tradesman technology. So what we've built is a proprietary trading system that allows us to scan over 8,000 stocks in our universe and allow to specifically sh predict where the stock is heading for the next 50 days. So we have an algorithm based on quant models that looks at the price actions of the stocks for the past 25 years, and it also looks at the earnings for the past 25 years. And based on our algorithms, it predicts where the stock is going to be tomorrow, day after tomorrow, in the next 75 days. So this is how the system looks. It combines both technical and fundamental analysis because we're looking at the earnings and we look at the price actions. And we need to have a simple strategy that can help us become profitable making our trade. So in order to be a profitable trader, you had a lot of presenters today and everybody had a different methodology, but everybody has something in common, is that you need to trade liquid stocks you need to know what direction their stocks are heading. Are they going up or down? You need to be correct on the timing. And you need to construct strategy that gives you higher probability of success than just 50 and 50. So and you have to be right on all of these points. So you have to be right on the stock direction. You don't have to know exactly where the stock is heading, but you need to know whether the stock is going to be higher or lower. You also need to be correct on the timing when the when the stock is going to be higher or lower, is it minutes, hours, or days? And you also have to construct your strategy correctly to make sure that you can benefit from probabilities of success and construct your strategy that you have over 50% probability of success. So here's the TradeSpoon system. If you have an account at TradeSpoon, you can go to My Tools, click on TradeSpoon Bulls, and select 9s and 10s short long-term trading of 9 and 10. What that means is that we basically have different quant models that we are running. And the first model is showing you the long-term rating. 9 and 10 means we're very bullish on the stock based on technical and fundamental data. The short-term trend it shows us what the predictability of the stock like Nike or Amgen. So if you look at Amgen or Nike, the short-term trend basically gives you probability of where the stock is heading in the next 50 days. 
So you can see on your screen that 50 days forecast is higher and probability is higher than 94%. So it's 20 days, 30 days, and 40 days. So now that we know which stocks to trade, and every day models run and they give you different stocks to trade, because we believe that, yeah, you can trade Apple every day, but Apple has certain predictability and probability being in a certain price range. And today the stock follows the pattern and tomorrow stocks can be completely moving randomly due to earnings or some binary events. So we are selling the time frames where stock can be predictable. And this probability of 90% or 100% shows that the stock moves in certain probability and certain correlations to its historical numbers. So now that we have, let's say, Amgen or Nike as a stock that we wanted to trade, you can click on seasonal chart. That's the next step in our process. What is the seasonal chart? Seasonal chart is actually shows us several key points. One is you can see the current year. This is the stock price movements in the past 50 days. So you can see in the past 50 days how the stock moved. And the predicted line, the orange line, actually shows you what our prediction for the stock heading into the future. So for the next 75 days, we're predicting where the stock is going to be. So you can see the stock on April 29th. You can see the stock on May 1st and May 5th and 7th and so on. So this is the, our model that predicts what the stock prices are for the next 10 days. You also see here the 20-day forecast the 30-day forecast and 40 days forecast for our stock prices, for stock Nike. And then the green line shows you correlation of how the stock moves in the current year compared to the historical data. So if you look at the green line, the historical data, you can see that the stock is following a trend going into May and June and makes new higher highs going to October and November. So this is the third piece of information that you can have. Once you have, once you're in a position and you wanted to see day by day what the stock does, you can actually go and go in under my tools and click on stock forecast tool. So stock forecast tool is actually allows you to predict where the stocks like Nike is heading in the next 10 days. Or you can type in any, you know, you can type in SPY, right? You can type in as an index and actually see what our predictions for the next 10 days are based on the our proprietary model. So it will show you going into the April 24th, April 27th, what our prediction for the stock is. And here you can see that our prediction for the spiders is going into May 7th, making new higher highs and making new higher lows. Based on this information, you know in the next 10 days, spiders are heading to the upside. That means you can use your weekly options or you can sell put spreads, but you can construct a strategy that take advantage of this information heading into the next 10 days. So price forecast that I just showed you is an easier way to look at the chart. We all look at the chart, whether we look at Ichimoku Cloud or we look at the RSI or MACD. We look at the past data and we're predicting where the future trends are, and where the future price movements are. We showing a proprietary view of how the stock will move into the future. How will stock behave in May and how the stock will behave in June? By running these independent models. So it's very important to structure, find key support and resistance levels. Now, sell into the strength. You know, we do follow a methodology where we want to sell into the strength or buy into the weakness. Currently, we're kind of in the third week of earnings season. Market is trending in the range. We are at the all-time high currently. So selling into the trench, what does it mean? It's a proactive trading strategy carried out by selling out of the loan or into a short position when the price of an asset being traded is still rising but is expected to reverse in price, which is opposite of buying into the weakness. What is a buying into the weakness? This is the S&P 500 is in the midst of pullback from a multi-year high, and there are two camps forming. One side believes that this is the beginning of the end of the current bull market. The other argument is that the current pullback is around 4% and merely a normal and healthy sell-off that occurs during even strong 
uh, bull market. I personally fall into the later camp and therefore I'm looking for buying opportunities on the weakness. So approach, you will want to look at the IV volatility, when IV volatility, IV volatility increases, you want to sell option premium and you want to structure your trade where your probability of success is greater than 50%. You want to look for 3 to 5% price movement in the next five days, and you want to use envelopes or Bollinger Bezins or other studies to identify overbought conditions. So basic price sharing, you can see support and resistance levels, you can identify, and you can identify it by candlestick chart that looks like this. A trade spoon, not only we provide you with the trade, you know, with the technology to spot the opportunities, but we also show you that for every day, we are providing you a trade recommendation. So we do show you on every single day, we provide you a trade recommendation. If you're a stock trader, we tell you what the stock is. This is what we recommended yesterday by Dow at $51. We also show you if you're an option trader to buy an option, 50 call in Dow, or do a spread, whether it's a credit spread or a debit spread. We can also show you know show you a video where you can go and click an instruction video where we can tell you step by step it's Sparks was protected. But if you go to the video, we actually tell you step by step how did we come up with the straight recommendation, the entry price, the exit price, and what was the methodology behind placing the straight. And you can actually follow our trades, and we are showing, we on purposely open up account a trading block where we show you our PL and our profit and losses. And here's, you know, this is a trading block account where you can actually see all of our positions and all of our trades. We have created an account with $10,000 and every day we're showing you how our account is growing and what is the PNL. And our goal is to make 5% return a month and that's what we've been doing consistently months over months. So, not only we're showing you the stock and with videos, but we also show you the charts that show you support and resistance levels are for each of the stocks. So if you look at the Dow Jones, Dow Chemical that we recommended on April 24th, which is yesterday, if you click on the stock chart, it shows you what are the key support and resistance lines are using Fibonacci retracements or using the probability calculator that shows you what are our target prices based on the historical volatility, but also looking at the implied volatility. So it's important to look at different picture. Once you identify the stock that you want to trade, you want to identify the time frame that you're trading. If you're a long-term trader, you want to look at the daily chart and look at the trend daily trend, looking at the 52 weeks for S&P. If you are a short-term trader, you want to look at 15-day or 30-day chart. And the pictures of the 15-day chart and the daily chart might be completely different. On the daily chart, you see a trend to the upside. On the 30-day chart, you see the trend to the downside. So chart patterns can have different support and resistance levels. We go, you know, they can be slanted on the 45 degree or they can be in parallel. You can also see resistance as a price level at which supply is likely to be strong enough to prevent the price from seeing further rally. So the, here in the example, we use in uh, Bollinger Bands. It's a two standard deviation move. We see an overhead resistance here, which shows in the green line. This is an example where opportunity to sell in, in selling into a strength. If you go back to our account, so if you're going to go back to our account and go to analyze charts, you can actually see on SPX, currently we reach 2117 level. So you can clearly see that you're looking at the Bollinger Band, the two standard deviation away, the overhead resistance is at 21, 20, 21, 29. So clearly we're in overbought condition and unless there's a 
surprise in the earnings cycle next week, most likely we are going to have a sell-off going into the next week because we've seen this overhead resistance that we've reached in February and now we're reaching again in April and unless there's a break of this 21.29 level to the upside, 98% of the time, that's the definition of the Bollinger Band, two standard deviation, 98% of the time we're going to stand within these two bands. So the support is a 2049 level and overhead resistance is a 2129. So once we have that uh, bias, this is where you can sell into the strength, right? We're looking at the charts, we're looking at the prediction. Now we need to come up with a strategy that actually can be, can make us money. So we pick a stock such as USG, and again, how do we pick sh stocks? Just go back again to our analytics. You can go back here, and just with, like we did the bulls, you can run scanner my tools, trade spoon bears, and every day we're gonna give you an idea of what stocks to short based on our short-term trend that gives us predictions for the next 20 to 50 days. But it also give, but we also look at the rating that gives us a long-term bias for each of the stock. How do you construct the trade? Well, as we, as I said in the beginning of the presentation, not only you have to be correct on the time and the direction of the stock, you have to pick the right strategy, and it's very important to look at the implied volatility of the stock and look at the any binary earnings binary events that happens. So in this example, this is a hypothetical example, we're looking at the stock as USG. Let's look, let's go back to our stocks, let's look at uh, our open positions, and here's the example of AXP. So this is the short position that we recommended a day before, April 23rd. We said, we look at the stocks such as AXP, we look at the probability calculator, and we're seeing that this price of, a, of uh, American Express it will be between $70 and $86. And there's 95% chance that it will stay be, uh, between $70 and $86. So at this point, it's very important to construct a strategy that takes advantage of this information. You can buy 670 call, I mean, somebody put, if you're bearish on the stock, right, our prediction is that the stock is going to be lower in the next 20 days, 40 days, and 50 days. So you can buy 70 put, but there is only 1% probability that AXP will reach that level. So building the strategy doesn't, my, building the strategy doesn't make any sense. Because the, if you reach $70 and there's only 1% chance, 99% of the time you will be wrong. So it's very important not only to pick the right stock and direction timing, but construct a strategy that gives you high probability of success. So what we designed here, we said since the stock is going to be 95% of the time, stock will be between $70 and $86, we sold 80 call and we bought 85 call. So we're selling a credit spread because we want to collect the time premium for the stock. Because implied volatility is elevated. You look in the, the volatility change, the IV rank that comes with every pick, and it's elevated, it's 40%. So anytime uh, implied volatility is at 40%, 60%, we want to sell premium and we were able to collect $1.10 for this trade. So you can see that the profit and loss for this credit spread, call spread, looks like this. We're limiting our upside, but we're also limiting, limiting our downside. And for credit call spread or debit put spread, the bearish strategies, idea of spreads is that they give you higher probability of success. Instead of a 50-50 chance, you can actually see that in this example, our probability of success is 64 and 65%. As you get more comfortable 
with trading strategy, you can look at the probability calculator and say, well, why sell 80 call where I can sell, you know, 85 call, right? I can sell 85 call and there is, in the next 50 days, there is only 2% chance that it will reach $85. So as you get more experience, you can increase probability of success by selling options with lower delta, right? You want to sell options that have low probability of success. But you are taking higher risk, right? The further away you're moving from American Express, where it's currently trading at $78, the further away you trade, 86 85 or 90 the further you are increasing the probability of success, right? Because you're selling an option that are further where the stock is currently trading. But if the stock does rally because of the acquisition or because of the binary event, you might sustain higher losses. So higher probability of success, meaning higher risk. So, and that's kind of what we're teaching at TradeSpoon. That's why you can actually watch our instructional video. Every day we give you a 20 to 30 minute video where we explain these concepts over and over again to make sure you're comfortable with these four important concepts, volatility change, our IV rank, return on capital and probability of success. And the way trading is, doesn't matter what strategy or what system you're using, your return on capital will increase per trade but that means something has to compensate. And what, what compensate increased return cap on capital is your low probability of success. And as you become more and more comfortable trading options, or stock for that matter, you will structure your trade in such a way where probability of success is higher, but that means that return on capital is lower. That means you're taking higher risk which is fine as long as you're active trader you know how to aggressively defend your positions by you know if you're bullish by selling out of money call spread but as long as you can aggressively defend your position you will start structuring your trade where pro this probability of success is great you know 80% 90% that means 8 out of 10 times 8 of 8 out of 10 times or 9 out of 10 times you will make money So what is the price support? Again, the opposite of by selling option premium into the market strength is buying onto the weakness. When the market sells off, like we had, let's go back to our account. But when S&P was here, right, when it reached this 50-day support around 2089 last week or in the beginning of this week, this was a perfect opportunity to buy into the weakness. So it's important to know how to identify support. And here on the Bollinger Bands, you can see that 50-day moving average has been a strong support for the past couple of weeks. So every time market reaches support, this is an opportunity to kind of go long and buy into the weakness. So here's an example of Apple. Let's go through the real example. Let's look at our recent pick. So here's a Dow. Again, we're going back to our Dow example that we recommended yesterday. Our models work on the 50 days till expiration. So again, we look at the probability calculator, we look at the trend, and it shows us that our prediction to the 50 days, 20 days, and 30 days is to the upside higher. So we executed a Dow. We bought a Dow either $51 if you're a stock trader or if you're an option trader with we bought 50 called and sold 55 call. Implied volatility was low, so it made sense for us to do a debit spread at this time. So based on implied volatility, sometimes we do debit spread, sometimes we do a credit spread. So again, you look at the long-term score and you look at the short-term trend. And we're purposely avoiding binary events. The reason we're avoiding the binary events is because 
it's very hard to predict what's going to happen during binary events. And you can, you know, several speakers talked about earning strategy, and you can do earning strategy using our methodology, but this is purely looking at the implied volatility versus realized volatility and see if there is any discrepancy. Once our binary events happen, then this high certainty you can actually predict where stock is going to be in the next 50 days by running our models. Because we are learning our models based on the data that happened in the past, and we're seeing how if Dow beat earnings estimates, how will Dow Chemical behave in the next 50 days? And we can find that behavior by studying price action and earnings action for the past 25 years. So again, this is long-term score and short-term score, very important because it helps you to find bias for stocks that you are trading. And that's a key, very important thing to have. You have to have a bias of the stock out to the upside, downside, or in the trend. You have to be correct on the timing. And then you have to construct a strategy in such a way where your probability of success is greater than 50%. And this is how the debit spread looks like for stock like Dow. If you draw the Dow strategy and you buy a 50 call and you sell a 55 call, and that's the trade that we recommended, you are benefiting if the stock is going to be above $55 by June expiration. So uh, position maintenance, look at uh, to roll the short position. When there is 15 days or less to expiration, it has a delta of 5% or less. If the stock has moved through the short strike, you can take the full profit of the trade. If the stock has driven to the upside, consider shutting the position down. So position maintenance becomes very important. We believe that if stock has moved to the 3% in your direction, close the position. Because probability of success is very important to consider. If you look at this chart, and you draw it out, just remember that these strike prices here and here, if you draw a bell-shaped curve that some of the speakers talked about it today, you know that 68% of the time the stock trades in this range, which is the what we consider one standard deviation. Right, this one standard deviation, 68% of the time. So you want to make sure that as your position trades within this range and your price has reached a target level, you want to close this position. Because stocks do have a tendency to revert to mean, right? If the stock moves to 3% in your direction, the next thing it's going to sell off. So closing your position before expiration is very important, not to wait until the end. So, and again, we started the conversation was, it's important to have a trading plan. And our trading plan assumes $10,000 portfolio and allocation of 5% per trade. Our average holding time is 30 days, and we are been averaging 20, close to 20% return per trade. If you do the math, then 20% of 500 is $100 per trade. So on average, we can make $100 per trade. If you trade 50 trades a year, you can make up to $5,000. So 50% annual return. And that's what's been our goal. If you look at our performance, we're very transparent in our performance, and we believe you want to be comfortable before you're making any trading decisions. So you can actually see every single trade, whether it's a winner or a loser, we record in our performance. And I encourage you to look at our detailed performance and see for yourself to make sure that you're comfortable with the strategy. But not only there is a, not only we record this to for, for you can feel comfortable with our trading strategy, but you can actually go back and type and see when we recommended on buying Expedia on April 1st, what was the volatility rank? 
what was the return on capital, what was the probability of success, and what was the estimated move, and what strategy did we utilize. The reason we're doing this is that you can actually go back in time and start adjusting your strategies. You scroll down and say, okay, how was your trade, you know, back in 2014, when you recommended going long on Apple in 2014, what was the probability of success, what was the estimated move, what is the probability calculator now for, you know, trading Apple, and what was your, what is your buy sell rating. And this is going back to having a trading plan. You have to have a trading plan. We recommend to buy 3 to 5 percent of your portfolio into our recommendation. And then what you can do is you can do this back test that we've done for our tradesman subscribers. So this is what our past performance has been. It has no indication of future results. But if you invest $10,000 and you never allocate more than 5% of your portfolio into any given trade, which is $500, you can actually see how will your portfolio fluctuate from December 2012 all the way till 2015. You see that we are, our goal is to make 5% return per trade. If you go through our account that we actually open a trading block to manage our trades, you can actually see that, you know, if you go to account and you look at our balance history, and that's what our video has shown, you can see, you know, what, you know, when we started in January, what was our account balance, then in February, what our account balance is, what is in March, and you see how this, how we trade, how we've been averaging you know, roughly 5% return per month. That's been our goal. And, you know, sometimes we make less, sometimes we make more, but that's kind of been goal to do this conservative trading to give you visibility to our performance and to our back test. And most important is mentoring, right? Every day you will get a video that last 25 minutes that you can actually see step by step how we place in this trade, how we hedge in our positions. Sometimes we do iron counters to lower our cost basis, but it's all about lowering your cost basis. And to us, this is the most important part of trading. Without the ability to lower the cost basis, you can really make any uh, decisions because lowering cost basis, that's what improves your probability of success. This number goes up every time you can lower the break-even point for the stock. Instead of buying, instead of buying Dow Jones for fifty-one dollars, in this, you know, in this example, you could buy it lower. So let's see. Let's go back here. So we do want to give you. We do want to go through the questions to make sure that uh, there's a, you know, now is the perfect time for you guys to enter your questions. But if you, be, I do want to put up an offer. If you are interested in our strategy, we don't do a lot of day trading, but we do have a great technology for day traders. If you want to actually know what Apple or Aspires or any index, NASDAQ, uh, NDX or USO, what are they going to trade tomorrow? We have technology that can help you look what the so key support and resistance levels are for tomorrow. For our mentoring program, we are trying to, we're showing conservative approach how to grow your portfolio using our option strategies or stock strategies to make sure that your trades will last anywhere from 20 to 30 days, but you can st slowly and steadily grow your portfolio. And if you go to this link, Real Traders Webinar forward slash Tradespoon Deal, which is here. So if you go to realtraderswebinar.com, Tradespoon Deal, you can actually see that for $67 a month, if you look here and you enroll here, for $67 a month, you will get our tools. And that price will stay. As long as you're a member, this price will never change. For 67 a month, you get access to our seasonal charts. You get access to our trade idea tool that I went over, our bullish and bearish ranking. Or if you want to sign up for a whole year and get 40% commission, you can sign up for $497. But so for $67 a month, you can get access to Tradespoon Real Trader webinars. 
forward slash trade spoon deal. I think it's a great way to get daily recommendation. We provide one recommendation a day. We give you a video of half an hour where I trade in real account with real money that I allocated specifically for trade spoon recommendations. And day by day, you can follow our trades. And you can get access to our analytics that can show you what stocks to trade based on predictability. And what are the key support and resistance lines are for the next day or next 50 days, depend on what kind of trader you are. So I'm going to put that inside of here, chat box. So here's the offer. Perfect. Let me ask you some questions. So price line forecast. Oh, sure. So if you go to my tools, stock forecast, and I don't know, are you looking for short-term forecast or long-term forecast? But, you know, let's do pro. Here's our price line forecast for in the next 10 days. It's currently at 12.31. And our prediction that it's heading higher. So we think that on April 27th, on Monday, it will be at 12, or 1 through 12.36. Here's a low and high. But the most important in the next two weeks, you know, the price line is heading higher. I don't know where when the earnings of price line is, but these are our predictions for the next 10 days. And you can also see our predictions for long term, for six months. We're, you know, in the next six months, we think May high will be 1247 and June high will be 1323. So that's one model. Right? Uh, we can also go here and lo look at the other independent model. Op start. Seasonal chart, open link in a new window. So let's look at the price line. So here's our prediction. The mix, the the model that runs on earnings and price kind of mixed. You see strong signal that 30 days and 40 days prediction is higher for the price line, but it's lower going into the 50 days. So it depends what your strategy is for the next 20 days or 30 days. This is the second model that predicts where the price line is going to be. What about CTSH? CTSH. I actually have a position in CTSH, so let's look. So it's, CTSH obviously has been volatile. Our 20-day, 30-day, and 40-day prediction is higher. Low prediction is low, but it's only 57-72% uh, uh, accuracy. So it's kind of mixture. If you look at the our 10 day prediction. So the, why do we have two different models? This model, the stock forecast, is very accurate for 10 day prediction. It's very accurate in predicting that CTSH will trade in between $60 and $60.39. Basically, it trades in this range going in the next 10 days. And this model is very accurate in predicting that. So if you do have a CTSH position, like I do, and let's say you're long it, you, might, you probably want to consider selling 62 call or 62 call spread and reduce your cost basis. Because there's very little likelihood that CTSH will breach $62 level in the next 10, two days. In the next 10 days. If you want to see a longer horizon, you click on CTSH. Our longer term models do indicate that uh, it will be higher than it is now in the next 20, 30, and 40 days. Considering the performance record you host, why would you do anything other than spread? I agree. Uh, Personally, I would not do any, you, you can see based on, if you guys go to performance, which I encourage you to do, we are, our spread strategy outperforms our option strategies and our stock strategy. But ultimately, we have a lot of people on today's call, and based on your comfort level and where you are as a trader, some people don't have margin requirements or don't have enough 
experience trading options. Statistically speaking, doing option spreads will, statistically, if you do it over and if you trade small and you trade often, you do it over and over and again, option spreads lower your cost basis, right? You buy in stock at a lower pri price point. If you buy something at a lower spread, price point, it improves your probability of success. So option spreads will always outperform option trades. Until, unless you have some kind of a binary event and you rarely just betting, you know, trading on a binary event like earnings, then yeah, you can make more money on options because they don't have limit on upside or downside. But if you do it 10,000 times or 1,000 times, if you're trading for many years, for months or for years, option spread will always outperform option trades. As a matter of fact, short, short calls or short puts will outperform the spreads because short puts and short spreads even further lower your cost basis. But that, again, the, it becomes a margin requirements and what trading level your broker dealer allows you to have. Because not every broker dealer will allow you to short calls or short puts or even do a credit spreads. You need to have certain capital in your account and you have to have a certain experience. But this is a very good, uh, it's a very good question. I do agree that spreads uh, give you better odds. So if so, how has 2015 been? 2015 been pretty good. Uh, I started with 12, 355 and I'm now at 1443. So what, 20%? Two grand? So, you know, on a $10,000 account, after commissions, after all the slippages, I'm up 20%. Uh, so that's, thank you. Uh, what is the accuracy of your price prediction? Accuracy of price prediction is very high if there is no binary event. You know, if Apple announcing, somebody asked me about Apple, right? So I'm going to type in Apple and I'm going to look at the short term prediction. But Apple announcing earnings next week. And before Apple announcing earnings next week, I'm not sure when it is, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. So this prediction is very high and it could be very accurate. But once the binary event occurs, and let's say, let's say Apple beats earnings estimates, it might go up by 10% or like Pizza Hut, right? You saw Pizza Hut, that's one, one of the stocks that I traded. If you look at the predictions, you know, that happened here, with, you know, our predictions was here, but Domino's Pizza, you know, went up by 10% because of the binary event. No models or no statistics can predict the binary event like earnings or sell-off in the market. If there is, but most of the time, there is no binary event, right? After Domino's Pizza or Apple announces earnings for the next 90 days, unless there is a geopolitical instability, it trades in a certain range. So some, so if there is no binary event, these short-term models are very accurate in predicting what will happen tomorrow, day after tomorrow, on stocks or indexes, right? Somebody asked my ETF, uh, let's look at USO, right, oil. A lot of people trade oil. So you can type in USO oil and it will tell you what is our view for trading USO, right? So you will see that short-term there is a strong not strong, but there is a bias to the upside for oil, and oil has been repounded and reaching, you know, 58 and 60 level. So if there is no buyer in the event, these models work well. This specific model works well on the short-term prediction. This model, uh, our straight spoon seasonal chart, works well on predicting long-term trading because they design differently. One model designed with a long-term prediction following options expiration cycles, and one model is geared toward predicting short-term trends. Uh, everybody what? Do we do ETFs? Uh, I don't know what a hack ETF, but you know, if you do USO, what is hack? Let me see, stock forecast, hack. H A C K. Oops. H A C K. Pure fund cyber secure. Okay, cool. Uh, 
something to learn today. Pure funds, I cybersecurity, right? Cybersecurity is trending to the upside. So our prediction that it's going to go higher in the next 10 days, and if you want to look at the long-term trend, well, can't predict the long-term trend, but for the next 10 days, this is our prediction. So as long as there is no binary event, you know, I encourage you to try us out, you know, for $67 a month, you get access to this technology, and you could follow our recommendations, or if you have your own position, such as HCK, I encourage you to try it out. I think you will be pleasantly surprised that if there is no binary event, on April 27, this will be the range of HACK, and if there's options trading for HACK, you can actually structure a put spread, right? If you go to actually a chart, let's see, bulls, you can go to the trade analyzer and making sure that, you know, one thing is to spot the trends and find the support and resistance, but the other one is to actually making sure that you are finding the right strategy. So if you type in HACK and you click on find strategies, you want to make sure that you look at, you know, this is a tool that we've designed at Trading Block and uh, Trade Spoon is that if you type in any sig symbols that have underlying options, you can actually tell you what are different strategies you can utilize to take advantage of this information, like buy call spread or sell call spread. So if we're bullish, you can do a buy call spread, right? And you can see that if you buy 26 call and 31 call that expires in September, you have 86% probability of success for any trade. Um, $67. This specific deal is only for Real Traders webinar. We don't promote this offer anywhere else. So if you are on this webinar, you can take advantage of $67 a month. Other than that, you can go to our pricing and actually see what our regular prices are. Are the numbers given in your results actual trades you made? Yes. If you go to, you know, if you when you sign up and you go to our trades, uh, most recent pick. When you look at our video, you can actually you will actually see that I'm placing these trades and I'm executing them in the real account. It actually shows you you know mechanics of the pick, but then it shows you you know steps that I'm undertaking to place these trades in the real account. So this is a real account that I'm executing and you know every single trade spoon recommendation can we auto trade from trade spoon run yes we can auto trade from trade spoon if you go I'm not a licensed broker so I can't really solicit uh, trading but if you go under platform manage auto trading we do have auto trading platform with trade trading block and you also give great commissions on these auto trade. You know, you can save up to 70% of standard commissions. But I do want to go over this disclosure that, you know, I am also um, a f an investor and employee of iOS, which is does business as Trading Block, which is a registered broker dealer firm. We are not affiliated companies. We're completely independent. But we do have a marketing agreement between two companies. So I just want to make sure there is a full exposure, uh, the full disclosure to... Uh, for everybody. Uh, if I to buy one year, so will I be able to cancel after? Yes. If you buy, we do prorate. So if you sign up for a year now, and you know in two months you or you decide it doesn't fit your trading style, or you go on vacation, whatever the reason is, we will prorate uh, the annual subscription. Uh, what is the prediction for Facebook? Facebook, Facebook, let's see. Uh, Long-term prediction for Facebook. Thirty day and forty days is higher. Uh, 
since the inception, going into May, June, there is a short-term uh, bias to the downside. So I think it's going to sell off. Uh, and if you look at our... Seasonal chart, let's see, seasonal chart. My tool stock forecast tool. Let's type in Facebook. Go short term trend. So how do we use ch uh, this prediction chart for intra trade trading? Well, yeah, so here's the perfect example is Facebook, right? Uh, Facebook, well, this is a perfect example, $82.41, right? This was a uh, close for Facebook. Let's, let's get better number, hold on a second. So uh, analyze, quotes, let's do Facebook. Okay, so Facebook was 81.48. And 82.94, right? 81.48 and 82.94, and it closed at 81.51. So let's pull this over here. So this is what's, you know, yes, this pre predictions run at the end of the day, around 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central. So we predicted that the high will be $85.34, and the lowest point was 82.68. And this is the next prediction. So if you day trading, you know, right now the Facebook, according to our prediction, is oversold. So if you're a day trader uh, for Monday, you know, one one look can look at this and say, listen, I should probably sell 82 put, right? Or sell 80 put or 80 put and 75 put. Because on Monday, most likely the stock is going to close at $83.46, but this is the range. So if you're a day trader for Facebook, I would encourage, you know, not, not encourage, but I would look at this chart and one might, one, one might see that if the Facebook is closed at $82.41, that on Monday, even if there is no binary event and Facebook already made earnings announcement, that it will rebound back. Because there is a, a strong, not strong, but there is a upward momentum in Facebook, and our prediction that for Monday and Tuesday the stock will be trading in this range between $82 and $85. So that's how I would use this data to do the intraday um, analysis. So how do you have intraday chart analysis? So th this is how I would use. I mean, this predictions run every day, and when you wake up on, you know, when you go on Monday morning before market open, you look on April 27th for Facebook. And if you trade in Facebook, and you see that the lowest point is 82.59 and highest point 85.36, short term Facebook is oversold based on this data. So I would take that into consideration and you can sell, you know, 80 put, right? You can sell 80 put and if you're a day trader and wait for them to make, you know, 10 cents, 20 cents on that 80 put or sell 75 put. That's how I would use this data. What is the 30 day and 40 day prediction on SLB? SLB is actually one of our trade recommendation, but if you type in SLB, there is a short-term uh, upward momentum for SLB, Schlumberger. So if you look at our predictions, you can see that it's making new higher highs, and we think that kind of in the range trade bound, somewhere between $92 and $95. So again, how can you use this data? Since Schlumberger already announced earnings and there is a move to the upside, you can consider selling, you know, taking advantage of this information and selling 90 uh, put spread. 90 put and hedging yourself as 85 put. Or if you're a more aggressive trader, you can sell 85 put, 85 weekly puts, you know. Depends on your time frame. But that's how you use the information. You're basically looking at the lowest point and the highest point 
and that's how I use it. And then I see, okay, if Schlumberger is trading in the range in the next 10 days between 92 and 95, and I'm trading weekly options, why not sell, you know, 90 put? Or no, well, why not sell 85 put and collect, you know, 1% on your money in the next 10 days? Um, how can we detect unusual option activity from this software? Uh, we do have unusual options activity, so if you go under my tools and you go to and you go under my tools and you look at the option toolbox, we do have momentum scanner or unusual option scanner. And you can, you know, similar, you know, similar tools that you see on the news everywhere. If there is any institutional activity, like in Cisco or TWC today on acquisition, or I think there was Amazon, right? Amazon earnings today or Alibaba. You will see an unusual activity with, you know, that shows you open interest size and value. So that can show you an unusual activity from, you know, using our software. But this is different. Unusual options activity just says, you know, there is a large institutional buying and certain strike price and certain underlying. And then it's up to you to decide whether somebody's opening position and closing position. And if you're a day trader and you see unusual options activity on Alibaba, like here, then you might, you know, sell the same put or buy put or sell put, you know, based on that information. Uh, what else? A lot of questions. Uh, it's I have three more minutes. Do you treat your system? Uh, a lot of questions and symbols. <laughs> yeah, I, I. You don't need a trading account, a trade trading block. You can use your own trading account. We do trade credit spreads. I see. Uh, when does this offer expire? Do you, do you, do you have a trading room? Don't we don't have a trading room? We do record every single recommendation we make. Does come with a 30-minute video. We're not day trading, so it's not really important. You know, minutes and hours don't matter. We do record a video of how we're making a trade. How do we adjust the trade? Every time we do an adjustment, you also get a video that shows you what adjustment we made. Uh, this offer is, and the other person is, what, when does this offer expire? This offer expire, at, you know, within 24 hours. We will send you a recording, and with this video, and you can try out our, you know, offer for $67. How many trades do you make a week? Five days trades a week. Every day we send you a trade recommendation. So if you look at our pick, that you get one trade. Do you send these by email? Yes, we send these trade recommendations by emails, and then you can have a video that you can review. Uh, yes, unusual options, Tony, unusual options activity is in real time. So if you go here, and you click on their option toolbox, this data is going to be gone, you know, in, before tomorrow. But this is a real time scanner. As trades occur, the time, you know, you see the timestamp. It's populated, and you can, you know, export this into Excel and see at exactly what date. You. How do you do maintenance on your trades? Uh, every day we provide you with this video. And we also send you an email with any adjustments or maintenance that we do. Sometimes, if the trade, you know, we do, le we do lower our cost basis, so we leg in into colors, uh, we le leg in into iron condors, or we leg in into coal condors or butterflies to reduce our cost basis. And when we do, we send an email to our user base and explain why we're doing that and at what price to get into a collar or a, a butterfly. 
and we also create a video where you can actually see our, you know, what exactly we did. You know, you can actually see it by order. You know, if you look at our order stats, you can actually see that you know uh, we sold the Carmax, uh, you know, sold the Schlumberger, Dow. So it will show you exactly what trades we've done, and you can see how you know every single trade. If there is an adjustment or fail, we're, we're giving you the recommendation. How do you give recommendations to the portfolio build? Uh, the best thing is here, if you look at our performance, we basically make an assumption that you open up a $10,000 portfolio and you never put more than 5% of your portfolio into any given trade. I usually put 2% to 3%. I take very conservative approach. And, you know, if I have one trade recommendation a day, the, your portfolio varies anywhere from 10 to 15 positions. Depends how active you are, you know, are you, are you participating in every single trade or this is just, you know, trade idea generation. But on average it's 8 to 14 positions at a time and we never put more than 2 to 5 percent of your portfolio into any given trade. And you can actually go through this back test and you can see what that, uh, you know, performance would look like. Uh, it's 3.17. I know we do have another speaker. Kevin, do I have any more time? Yeah, Vlad, uh, Mark is about to come on now. Um, if you want to wrap it up, go ahead. Okay. Sounds good. Well, Kevin, Mark, thank you very much for having me. I love participating in these webinars. I've been in several of these webinars before. I love the community that you are able to gather and uh, you know, try us out. I think if you are new to trading and you want to learn how to trade options by following the real portfolio of someone who been trading for 15 years, somebody who's been, you know, a team that designed a great technology, I think this is the best way to learn and manage your money and, and making sure you don't do unnecessary mistakes. If you're more of a professional trader or active trader or a day trader, I encourage you to try our tools. I think it will help you to become, to improve your odds of being successful. I think this tool, Stock Forecast tool, is an amazing tool. I'm very proud of my, you know, of our team that was able to build it. And I think you will see that. You know, I mean, obviously, if there is a binary event and the stock, you know, you can't predict binary events, so these predictions will not be accurate. But Dow Chemical made earnings announcement this week. You will see that going into the next week, these numbers will be accurate, and you will see how Dow will make new higher highs and higher lows next week. So watch the software, play around for a week, for a couple of months, it's only $67. And, you know, if you trade in whatever ETFs or indexes you trade in, you can use the software to monitor how accurate it is, and it will improve your performance. Hey, Vlad, I, I think know. we lost you, but um, I can't hear you. But, Vlad, we got to – um, I got to wrap up anyway. Um, I don't know if you lost your audio, but, guy, uh, Vlad, thank you so much for coming in, putting on such a great presentation. Guys, if you want to check out Vlad's offer, go over to realtraderswebinar.com forward slash tradespoon deal.